Greetings, Star Trek Cooking Academy. I'm back. I'm going to be making Odo's Baked Tomato Bruschetta today. Sorry for the long delay or hiatus. Um, I got a new phone, so you probably can't tell that I'm recording this on a new phone, but it took me a long time to figure out and get a new app downloaded on there that worked. So I d uploaded a couple that I had um, in the archives, but it's been a long time since I actually made one of these. And in the meantime, my mom sent me this for my birthday. A Star Trek apron. So fun. She said, um, that's the science one, right? Because you're a scientist. And I said, well, it's the science color for the original series, which is not my favorite. But who could be expected to know this, right? So anyway, Odo's Baked Tomato Bruschetta um, is supposedly a vegetarian version of Klingon Heart of Baby Targ. Oh, so delightful. So we have um, a loaf of crusty white Italian bread. Just one of those baguettes to get at the store real cheap. I'm gonna cut that up right before we eat it. And then I will show you. Can I flip it around while it's doing this? I'm not sure I can, so I'll just have to turn around manually. Here are the tomatoes that I sliced and put all over a lightly oiled baking sheet. Um, I sliced them all pretty well, I think. It's hard to slice tomatoes sometimes. I use my tomato cutting board which I thought was hilarious. And I spilled some of that water and tomato juice on the cookbook. How fun. All right, the oven is preheating to 350 degrees, and then I have to mix two or three garlic cloves with two cups of olive oil. I don't even know if I have enough olive oil. You guys think this is gonna be two cups? We will find out. And I'm gonna have to let it sit for at least 15 minutes. Man, that's a lot. So. I'll be back once the olive oil garlic mixture has been sprinkled over the tomatoes with at least one tablespoon or more per tomato. Wow, this is not another recipe that's not especially heart healthy, but oh well, it's going to be delicious. We have guests over, so hopefully everybody will enjoy a bruschetta appetizer. I'm so okay, here we have the tomatoes drowning in this olive oil. You can probably tell how shiny this pan is. They're basically swimming in the olive oil. I didn't even spoon all of it on because I was like, this is getting ridiculous. <laughs> the tomatoes are full of moisture. They're not really accepting a whole lot of liquid. So hopefully I'm doing this right. Um, they're at least garlicky. They're hopefully going to be losing their texture over time. Now I'm sprinkling some pepper on each of them. I'll also be sprinkling salt and then I'm cooking them until they basically turn to mush. To spread over the bread is the idea. Oh, and as far as did I have enough olive oil? This is 16.9 ounces. I should have realized that 16 ounces is two cups, so I just barely had enough. I got a little bit left over for you know moistening the pan next time I make eggs or whatever. And yes, I am just perching this on my sink. Probably not very professional. What are you gonna do? Limited counter space here. Still got the tomato cutting board sitting out that I gotta clean. So these are gonna go in the oven for 15 to 20 minutes until they're completely roasted, almost unrecognizable as tomatoes. And all I have to do is chop up some basil. Oh, at the same time, bake the bread. Good thing I read that before I started putting stuff in the oven. Hmm. All right, I'll show you what it looks like when it's done. Okay, Starfleet, these are supposed to be cooked so that they are unrecognizable as tomatoes. I still can tell that they are tomatoes and they've been cooking way longer than the recommended time. So, do I take them out? Do I leave them in? I think I'm gonna take them out and just hope that they still taste good because I definitely don't want to burn them. Okay, we have our tomatoes, which still look entirely too much like tomatoes. As you can see, some of the garlic was already burning off of them, so I I'm glad I took them out when I did. And we have our bread for spreading the tomatoes on. I'm going to chop some basil as a garnish, and then there we have it. We'll see if the family likes it.